Hello, and welcome to another Icon 7 Academy tutorial. Today's topic will be the new depth of field peak surface function. What do I mean by this? Well, in the old Icon, the depth of field was selected by either selecting an object and depending on where that pivoting point or center point was, that's where the or origin of that focus would be as the focus distance. However, with a new depth of field, you can actually select any area on a surface and put that in focus. Now, let's go ahead and pick target here and select an area where uh, we are close to the saddle but, saddle, but still clicking on the dragon. As you can see, even though it's the same mesh, we are changing the focus distance. Now let's do it one more time and focus on the tail this time. Now let's use our depth of field region so we can see a little bit better what's happening. We're going to click again on the head. This is all on the same surface and as you can see you can easily target any area on the same surface and still get a very excellent depth of field without having to select the whole model as your center point of where that um, focus distance is going to be. So you can pick a much more refined area now with a brand new depth of field. Look at that, beautiful. Fantastic. Now let's move on to another example. Now on this beautiful jungle scene, our Velociraptor is in focus. But now let's say that we want our boar beetle here in the foreground to be in focus. How do we do this? Well, we could click on the plant here on the leaf to get us a little closer to the boar beetle. But you will notice that when you click on a leaf on a speed tree uh, vegetation, uh, the, uh, the pick target does not get picked, it picks whatever is behind it, as you can see here. It, pe it picked the ground that was behind it right there. Now, in order to select something that is speed tree related, you need to pick on the stem, stem or either a branch or the trunk of a tree. This will bring you much closer to the area that you want to be in focus. And then you can go ahead and by moving the sliders here, by changing, of course, the uh, uh, near transitions and the, uh, the focus range, we want to keep this very tight because we want to create a very shallow depth of field, which means uh, the focus range is very small. And let's go ahead now and move the focus distance so that it moves closer to the boar beetle right there. And we can have that in focus and the rest uh, would be out of focus, of course, because the camera is very close to where the uh, this object is. Now let's go ahead and turn off the visualizer, and there you go. This is the area that is in focus, and the rest, of course, is in, in, blur, in a blurred area. Now, if you would like to get this beautiful boar beetle model, you can get it from Sketchfab. So right here is the link. Right there, go ahead and copy it, or just go to Sketchfab and do a quick search for Boar Beetle. And it is made by uh, uh, Fly Flyo Inc., I think it's pronounced. <laughs> uh, awesome model, thank you for sharing this with everybody. All right, so this go ahead and concludes our tutorial here. It was very short and sweet, and uh, some very good tips on how to deal with speed trees when you're trying to target your uh, subject with a camera. But before we do that, let's check out this animation as we transition from one target to the other.
pretty neat, right? All right, now we have reached the end of the tutorial. Until then, have a good night, and I will catch you on the next advanced tutorial. Take care.